What is happening ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ty behind the camera and in right in front of me is the 2023 Volvo S90 in the plus trim level and in this video we're going to check out all of the features this vehicle has to offer and you're going to want to make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to strap this GoPro to my head and we're going to see what it's like to drive the S90 as well. So let's get straight into it with the features of the exterior. We'll first start out with the headlamps. Take a look at them, all very nice and illuminated. All LED units for your high and low beams as well as your daytime running lights and turn signals. You also have headlamp washers, um, parking sensors up front as well, and take a look at these really nice uh, LED fog lamps. Now this S90 does have the bright exterior trim, meaning we have lots of chrome and bright work on the outside, giving it a very nice and stately look. Take a look at that grill, just looks very, very upscale. We have the Volvo emblem with the camera in the front, and that is one of four cameras uh, that make a 360 degree view camera system, and we'll see that view once we get on the interior. Nice long hood, some pretty cool creases going down into the front bumper. And we do have the optional 20 inch diamond cut wheels. Very, very nice looking. We have black pockets and sort of that machine um, finish on the face of the wheel. And as you can see, our tires measure 255.35. Down the side, we have some more chrome accents and those chrome accents continue around the windows. The mirrors have the turn signal indicators as well as blind spot warning in them. And we also have smart key entry on all four of the door handles. As you can see, this little pad right here, you just tap to lock and you can put your hand behind the handle to unlock. And again, that does go for all four door handles. If we take a look up top, we have a shark fin antenna and a nice panoramic sunroof system. And we'll take a step back so that you can see the profile very nice long uh, car for us to look at today um, as of 2023 and I think a few years prior uh, all S90s for the United States at least are in a long wheelbase configuration take a look out back the decklet has a little built-in spoiler which is very nice and we have the same LED treatment back here as up front so we have LED bulbs for the Turn signals, tail lights, and brake lights. Looks very nice, all illuminated. We have parking sensors back here and the reversing camera right over here. And we also have a trunk release right underneath the L in Volvo. We have the S90, the Volvo badging spelled out, and our powertrain badging back here as well. That'll round it out for the exterior. I think this car looks absolutely awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Before we get any further into the video, I would like to discuss the powertrain with you guys. It is only one motor available for 2023, and that is the B6 powertrain, which entails a 2-liter turbocharged and supercharged inline 4 and it produces 295 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque, and it is a mild hybrid setup, so we do have that starter generator as a helper to the gasoline motor. Uh, we will have all-wheel drive and all S90s, and it will come hooked up to an eight-speed automatic. If we pop the trunk open on the S90, we could see we do have the optional um, automatic trunk opener, I should say, a power trunk opener which is a standalone option once you get inside take a look at how much room we have so we have large sedan very large trunk and that carries into the back seats and we'll check those out next but very nice carpeting back here we have some storage extensions over here and one with some uh, netting over here and we also have a 12 volt power outlet and if we open the trunk floor we can see we have a spare tire in case you need that we have some nice carpeted floor mats. And as you see, the rear seats um, do have a uh, cargo pass-through, which is nice. Once you're done getting all your goods out, we have two options. One to close the trunk and lock the vehicle, or one to simply just close the trunk. 
All right, so let's take a look at the rear seats. Now, full disclaimer, if you were to sit in the back of the S90, the passenger area is definitely the place to be, and I'll show you why in just a second. But for now, let's take a look at the driver's side. We have a very nice big slab of light wood trim uh, for the rear door, and just take a look at how large the rear door is. And also take a look at how much leg room we have back there. We'll get in there in just a sec, and I'll show you really how much leg room. But we do have this one singular switch here, and it is used for your sunshade and rolling up and down the glass of the window as well. You also have a very small storage tray in here that obviously comes out. You can kind of um, just empty it out and use it for whatever you need in there. We also do have a lock unlock button and this car has the 14 speaker Harman Kardon audio system which is the mid uh, grade of audio system. You have three audio systems available for this car. Lots of storage down here too on the door. And if we take a look back here, we also have a nice illuminated um, sill tray and a full black leather interior. Very nice quality to the leather too. You can see the uh, graining is very prominent. And you have a couple of buttons right next to the headrest right behind it. And you can press those buttons. It'll fold down the headrest and also fold down the seat uh, flat so you can get more things in the uh, trunk. One more thing you can fold down here is your armrest. You have a nice padded area to rest your arm and a couple of cup holders. And at this point, I think we can hop in and see just how much room there actually is back here and check out the rest of the things we have going on. So first thing I'd like to point out is I am five foot 10 and I adjusted this front seat to a normal driving position for myself. And take a look at the leg room back here, just unreal. The amount of room we have back here in the S90. We have um, air vents on the B pillars as well as illumination, grab handles, coat hooks, everything back here. And we do have a nice little screen here for the climate control. We can adjust the temperatures over here and the fan speed, as you can see. A dual zone for the temperature back here and each passenger also has uh, heated seats back here too couple of air vents down here on the uh, center stack and we can also pop this open you see we have a 12 volt power outlet and two USB-C inlets there too. In case you had to fit a center passenger you could definitely do so. There is quite a bit of a drivetrain hump but there is a lot of room back here obviously uh, so you can easily straddle that. But let's get over to the passenger side door and this is kind of the business end of the vehicle. You notice we have a lot more switches and buttons going on back here and I'll tell just what each one does. Now this first button right over here puts the rear sunshade up. This button, these two buttons over here will control the side window shades as well as both of the, um, the windows themselves. These two buttons over here will control the sunroof and sunshade. So the sunshade, you can move back and forth with this button here. And the actual glass part of the sunroof, you can move back and forth and also tilt it right over here. And this button over here that kind of looks like a mirror adjustment actually moves the front passenger seat. So if you'd like to scoot that back and forth and also tilt the backrest in case you wanted more legroom in the passenger side, that is a very neat feature of this car. I really like that. So pretty neat uh, stuff going on on the passenger side. Now the panoramic sunroof continues very nicely back here in reference with the headrests. Um, they continue back pretty far. And that pretty much does it for all the features back here. Definitely loaded up um, in the rear cabin. Okay, so the driver's door as much the same materials as the rear does, so nice and soft touch up here and even all the way down here. And then we have the leather uh, covering the armrests, very nice wood and bright work. As you can see, these speakers are branded up here with the Harman Kardon audio. And we also have two person memory for the driver's seat, the lock unlock button, and a couple of switches over here for the um, mirror adjustments. And if you both toggle the left and right buttons at the same time, the mirrors will fold we also have all of the regular window controls and the rear will also operate the sunshades. And we also have powered child locks for the rear as well. 
a little bit of storage down below with a little bottle holder and uh, not just one but two speakers on the driver's door to the left of the dash we have a pretty cool looking air vent some wood trim and the trunk release if we get down here you can see they give you a little bit of a storage pocket to put some valuables or just loose change you can also see the uh, release for the tilt telescoping steering wheel and some of the mood lighting in here underneath the uh, lip of the dash which is very nice the pedals down there all covered in rubber and of course just like out back the illuminated um, sill the driver's seat is full powered with the two-way lumbar of course you can get more advanced seats as you go up the trim levels and take a look at the seats very nice uh, sort of uh, traditional style to the seats of course you know as i just said you can get a lot nicer seats to go with this car with massaging cooling functions all that good stuff uh, but let's hop in next start up and see what kind of other features we have up the front all right so here's the key fob for the s90 very much like every other volvo key fob you have the buttons to the side so you have the lock unlock trunk release and the panic alarm on this side we also have this little switch which you can move over and the key will kind of come apart and the physical key will be on the inside in case you need to use that but of course we do have this uh switch to start the engine now because of the mild hybrid setup you don't actually hear a actual starter uh, to turn over the motor you just kind of hear the motor whir on uh, it's pretty interesting now let's start off the features up here with the steering wheel so very nice soft leather with the same color stitching on the inside we have all the buttons here for adaptive cruise control and we also have voice commands a little bit of an adjustment for the screen up top and this will also double uh, to control various things in the screen or up and down for the volume and skipping back and forth for the uh, radio stations Behind the steering wheel, we of course have a couple of stocks, one for your turn signals, automatic high beams, all the rest of your headlamp controls, and the front and rear fog maps. And of course, to the other side, we have the adjustments for the wipers. Now, very nice looking LCD screen up here for the instrument cluster. Not a whole lot of configuration going on with this, uh, but I will show you a couple of different things. If you click this sort of more info button, um, the uh, navigation map will show up um, and also if you click this button here uh, more of the trip odometer and things will show up uh, this will actually show up if you have the um, the uh, uh, navigation set on a waypoint uh, it'll actually show up with the navigation up there taking a look up here we have a nice soft to the touch dash another speaker up there and that brings me down to our infotainment screen and of course it is the new google based system that volvo has had eh, for the past year or so and it has been trickling into all of the uh current models that volvo has of course again google based system so we do have um, google maps for our navigation and we could input our search right over here we have a home button right at the base of the screen we also have the audio screen with all of our channels over here we have favorites and then we can also search by categories or just uh, search the channel number right over here we have the phone screen which of course we don't have a phone connected at the moment but you can pair a phone with the apple carplay or um, with the bluetooth and you also have your google assistant down here now if you press this button over here we have kind of a jumblation of all of the different apps that this vehicle has so we have the radio the sirius xm podcasts um, news the phone screen apple carplay and all that good stuff in the uh, car status as well so tire pressures any reminders or anything for service will be in that screen you also swipe up top and log out uh, different uh, users for the vehicle you have the camera button over here which of course this has a 360 view once you press that button the rear view camera will pop up but if you want the 360 view you just press right in the center and if you want a specific view like the front you just press the front of the car or like the side you just press what side you want pretty cool and when you have the uh, menus up you, you have toggles to turn on and off the parking sensors and the auto braking for the rear over here we have our settings for our heated seats and heated steering wheel 
uh, this for the driver and this side for the passenger. Then we also have a devoted climate screen, um, which will pop up like so. We have their defrosters up top, AC settings, and then you can kind of press on where you want the air to blow. We have our fan speed over here, and at the bottom we have the temperature. So um, a four zone climate control in this vehicle, and you can kind of sink it in the center like so. You can also adjust the rear climate with an individual fan speed, and of course the uh, temperatures too. We have automatic settings for the seats and steering wheel as well, which is very nice. And uh, if we go to the settings, there's a couple of things I'd like to go through in here. We have some driving customization so that you can turn on or off our steering assist. Uh, we can also make the uh, steering wheel uh, have a firm feeling. Going back to our settings, we have the uh, sound settings over here too, very customizable with that Harmony card and audio system. We have connectivities, different controls for the uh, in the in the um, within the vehicle here. You can put up and down the rear um, uh, sunshade for the rear. You can also fold down the rear headrest from up here. Uh, various different things. Um, you can toggle your welcome lights, daytime running lights, turn all that stuff on and off if you'd like. We can also set up different profiles, go through our privacy and all of our different system settings uh, as well. But yeah, both screens in this car, this one and the um, gauge screen, are both pretty simple but have a very nice look to them and they also have all of the features uh, that you would need uh, within both of those uh, two screens. Just below the center screen, we have the button for the uh, hazards. We also have physical uh, defroster buttons and skip for your different track, play, pause for the radio, and our audio volume right there. Over here we have a little uh, storage tray to put spare change, pencils and pens, something like that. And we can slide this larger one back. We have a little bit of storage over here with a 12 volt power outlet and two uh, cup holders. Here we have the gear selector that's kind of hollowed out. It's got a pretty cool look to it for that eight speed automatic transmission. And we could bump it all the way down into drive. We could then from there bump it down once more and put it into manual mode. And you could actually bump it back and forth. So to the right is um, up a gear and to the left is down a gear. And then you could go all the way up into reverse. Again, your cameras will pop up when you go into reverse. And we have the little button here, uh, P for park. Again, we have the start-stop um, twister here for the uh, engine and a couple of buttons down here, one for your um, electronic parking brake and the other for the auto hold function. Nice center armrest which you could fold up and two USB-C chargers in there. The passenger has a nice slab of wood to look at and a glove box. It's all felt lined inside and illuminated. Looking up here, we have a frameless auto dimming mirror with garage door home links. And our visors have card holders, um, lights, and mirrors. And if we take a look at this center stack, we have one control here for the uh, sunshade. You can just kind of swipe it back like so. And that will control the sunshade and the sunroof. You could both slide and tilt the glass portion. And we also have tap illumination up here for all of the interior lighting and your emergency controls up there too. I really like the functionality of that sunroof. That's a pretty cool solution. But I think you guys get a pretty good idea on all of the features that this S90 has to offer. Let's get it out on the road and see how it drives. Alrighty, let's get this S90 out on the road. Alright, so a little overview of this test drive. Now we're first going to go on to a dead end and test out the turning circle. Now it should be interesting because this is a pretty large car. So it should be interesting to see how um, the turning circle is on this particular vehicle. So in case you guys are uh, you know, in and out of the city or maybe even live in the city but you still want a nice big car, uh, we'll see how that will work out. We'll then get it out on the uh, sort of main road that runs through here and we'll get it up to hopefully 45 50 miles an hour Although we are approaching rush hour. So hopefully we'll be able to hit those speeds 
and I'll kind of give you a little bit of a, of a sort of point of view on the road noise, wind noise, engine noise, all that good stuff up at those speeds. But for the main portion of the video, we're going to have some back roads. Uh, we'll first get a sort of acceleration test. Uh, the way I like to do it is get the car for 25 miles an hour and just kind of mash the throttle so you see how the transmission reacts uh, to the sharp throttle input as well as just how fast you know, the vehicle will get up to speed. Yeah, so we do have a little bit of a larger turning circle, of course, just to do the uh, larger nature of this vehicle, uh, but it still isn't too bad. But back to the little overview of the test drive. Um, so after our acceleration test, we have mostly uh, just back roads. Um, we have lots of elevation change and bumpy areas so that we could test out the suspension and a little bit of a handling test as well uh, have in mind for you guys. So I think we'll get a pretty good overview of all the features and also how this vehicle drives uh, by the time we're done with this video. Okay, so the rush hour traffic is definitely out. So we'll do the best we can with this uh, this more main road here. Of course, it's always that one person who's driving slow all the way at the front of the pack. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we are approaching 45 miles an hour and at these speeds, even with the 20 inch wheels that are optional on this particular car, the wind noise and um, tire noise are very minimal. Uh, so we have, do have some pretty large mirrors too, but that doesn't seem to be making a difference. Uh, the wind noise is, is very, very, it's very quiet in here. Um, and tire noise, the same thing. Of course, you do hear a little bit of the tire noise, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. The only time you really hear the engine at all is when you're accelerating and uh, once uh, you're up to speed and you really don't feel it or hear it, uh, which is nice. Which is really what you want for an S90, uh, which is kind of all about the luxury experience. Okay, so we're gonna hop onto the back road starting here, and this is where we're going to do the acceleration test. Uh, so once this traffic gets out of our way, we will get that underway. Very seamless uh, start-stop system, thanks to that uh, starter generator um, system, the mild hybrid uh, setup we have here. So again, we'll get it to 25 and mash the throttle and see what happens. So yeah, not too bad. Now this, we are of course working with the two liter turbocharged and supercharged uh, motor that Volvo has had for a while now. And um, you know, even working at Volvo, you really don't hear a whole lot of negative about that powertrain, uh, even though it's it does seem sort of like a more complicated motor setup. Um, and it gets good power, just under 300 horsepower, and um, it scoots this car just along just fine, even though it is a large car, it weighs quite a bit. Uh, you know, that this four-cylinder does a, a very good job with this car. And it is also very smooth, even under hard acceleration. Uh, the eight speed torque converter transmission uh, did a very nice job with changing up the gears for me and it did it in a very timely fashion. Um, and it just, uh, just got us to where we need to be. Of 
Now all S90s will come standard with all wheel drive. And for this year, uh, it looks like um, Volvo will only be offering the uh, S90 in the B6 powertrain. Um, whereas before, they also offered the uh, just the basic turbocharged four cylinder. Um, and I believe they also offered the T8 before, um, which was the turbocharged and supercharged inline four with a uh, plug-in hybrid setup. Uh, and that made some pretty good power. Uh, but for 2023, we still get that mid choice. Uh, so when in doubt, you pick the middle. So we do have a little bit of a corner here. Yeah, so we do have a little bit of body roll, nothing we can't handle. Uh, but of course, this has a very comfort oriented suspension and we will see the most bumpiest section of this test drive route uh, just around this corner. Uh, so right after this little stretch of road, I will be able to tell you uh, what the suspension is like. Yeah, so as you can see, the road ahead of us is just lots of patchwork and just uneven road. Uh, but this is good for our purpose uh, because we, the main purpose of this video is to test out the vehicle uh, so that I can relay uh, what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing back to you guys. So yeah, going over those, these bumps, again, even though we have these optional 20 inch wheels, it seems very very comfortable now we don't have the air suspension and we don't have the smallest wheels available uh, but even though you know even with those two factors going against the ride quality uh, it is still very very comfortable and just a very solid ride as well now one more thing I'd like to talk about a little bit more in detail is I did touch on it a little bit before uh, beforehand uh, is these seats now very very comfortable in traditional Volvo fashion you know I don't think they make a seat that isn't comfortable <laughs> just Volvo is known for very comfortable seats uh, this is the basic seat setup that you can get on the s90 uh, you can also get a seat that will uh, has cooling functions also has a massage and all of that good stuff uh, with thigh extensions and and all kinds of of, of crazy functionalities uh, but these seats you know if you're looking to save a little bit of money uh, they do the justice they are very very comfortable uh, just with the upper end seats you get a little bit more options of uh, sort of range of motion and things like that Just a very impressive ride quality. Uh, we did do a video on an S90 last year, um, and it even had smaller wheels on it. I think it had 19 inch wheels. And it seemed, this one just seems to ride a little bit better. So maybe they did a little bit of a tweaking uh, for the suspension in 2023. Uh, but yeah, it definitely seems to ride a bit better than the previous years. Now, the steering is actually surprising me too. It's a pretty direct uh, steering setup, meaning you know you only have to turn the wheel a bit uh, to get it to go in the direction that you like. So that's pretty cool too. And you do also have that uh, toggle within the infotainment to firm or loosen up the steering feel. Alrighty, so that pretty much does it for the test drive and features review of the 2023 Volvo S90 in the plus trim level. I hope you have enjoyed this S90 just as much as I have. And I also hope you stay with us here at Tide Drives for more videos just like this one.